you gave me. Pero na ila kini yengo. She gave me of the tree and I did eat. Yes, I na kini ngara ito na kwa kitoa ida buwe na yam. The woman you gave me. Pero na ila kini yengo. That woman gave me the tree and I ate. Abu aperu ni na ila kini ngara ito anyamio. The woman you gave me. Pero na ila kini yengo. That woman gave me the tree and I ate. Abu aperu ni na ila kini ngara ito anyamio. This came out of a problem that had now befallen this married family. Apat no alamu to ato matjenis na abu to ikelu kolelo. These people had finished their first wedding. Apat to alamu dauni to sebu konegeje masodi. And as the priest who wedded them left, they remained in the garden. Enyo esa sebu tile tulu koti likesi apat kesa salato manikon. And they began to enjoy the beauty that was given to them in the garden. Okay, one day I. The woman went on finding the best that she could give to her husband. Unfortunately, she was able to be tempted and she brought extra things to her husband. Then now the husband is affected. And now the priest is coming to find out what is happening. And the man quickly said, we hid from you. And he said to him, what have you done? And the husband said immediately, that woman you gave to me, she caused me to eat a fruit and that fruit has made me look naked and so he accused his wife before his father-in-law and also his priest who had performed the holy ceremony for them I entitled my address to you this afternoon Sit it, turn, and bear gun. 
but provide the basic leadership that the family needs. Second thing you must do as a husband is to provide the unconditional love for your wife. The person that you are holding her hand today, the Bible says, she is a weaker vessel. Not that she is weak that she cannot fight you. Not that she cannot face circumstances of the world.
develop the unconditional love. It's the only thing that sustains the family. When your love is conditional, you destroy your home. But when your love home is built on the unconditional love, you will use the weakness of a woman to strengthen your family. So learn also to equip your wife. The wife has gifts and talents. Those talents are still immaterial. They are raw material. It is upon us to develop those potentials that women have. For those potentials bring the complement of your home. And therefore, provide your wife with an equipment, equip her, prepare her. So she's also empowered to respond to circumstances. Do not blame one another. Check whether you have played your part. Are you so much as your wife